How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait, so our new professor is... you? I didn't see that one coming. Easy, Caspar. Aren't you being a bit rude? You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. <laughs> don't look at me like that! Oh, and... Please don't talk to me too much, either. <sighs> I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our Professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. You can't... Oh, uh, please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes. But I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? 
Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Not real ice, just the ice of... Um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. I don't want to train. Let's stay in the classroom and learn from a book. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? I know we all agreed to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Uh, they're not normally this... rowdy. I do hope you can manage, Professor. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic, but before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding for now. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest and you just happened to inherit it. 
That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. With each moon, professors of the Officers' Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month and when.
these are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Yes. Let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal, as thanks for your service to His Highness. I have a request. I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of the class assignment in the future. Hey, Teach. I hear there's gonna be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? Oh, Professor, have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Me, I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. I'm busy. Do you want something? I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating. Hello there, Professor. Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself.
brother would not be pleased if he heard you saying such things. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor? I am having great abilities for reading and writing. With sadness, I still have struggles with speaking. If my ways of speak... Uh, uh, of speech are causing a burden, I hope you will have forgiveness. to thee. Please protect us. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Oh. The great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. If you're looking for the greenhouse, it's right there. See it? Looks like a greenhouse. That's it. I'm a little busy. Anyway. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? 
The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. My thanks. Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance's leading house. This is one exceptional year, that's for sure. If you're a teacher here, you better watch your step. If anything were to happen to those kids... Suffice to say that it could harm the reputation of the Church of Saros, which we've spent almost a millennium establishing.
listen to this. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. I could probably take you, though. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. What? I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. Hi. Listen to this. That's so. These are the students' court. Commoner stu- As a rule, we try to- Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper- Okay. Yes. As it were. Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea is quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. I don't like to come out unless I really have to. Hope you're okay with that, Professor. No. I love this meal. How did you know? Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Nice. I knew I could count on you.